Two-dimensional lists. Sometimes we want to store data that's more than one piece of data that's connected to one particular item. So for instance with people we might want to store their name and we also want to store their age. Now you could store them in separate lists so you could have like a list of names and you could put for instance there like Homer and you could just put them in separate lists etc etc there we go ages and you could have them in separate separate lists just like that where we have one list of names one list of ages uh, which is okay but pretty soon you're going to get have a lot of lists and you're not going to be sure where all, where all your data is and trying to go through those dis, uh, lists trying to iterate through them trying to loop through them it's going to be a bit of a nightmare so really what we want to do is we want to store multiple pieces of information inside of one list now we can't do this with a one-dimensional list because a one-dimensional list here just like that list there and that list there it can only store one piece of information really so what we need to do is we need to use a a two-dimensional uh, two-dimensional list or array so let's have a look and we'll store information about people and what we do is here is our main list there and what we do is we actually do lots of mini lists there we go and we put these lists inside of a bigger list so let's, let's show you what it'll look like so for instance here we go there's the first piece of data and there's our first mini list there you go Homer 36 let's put a comma and let's do another mini list let's do Marge there we go 34 and so we've got two items there you go so two items in that list Two mini, so two mini lists and what we need to do now is we need to put both of those items just watch what happens here you've got a list a list now it's notice it's got a tuple there that's because we've not put the brackets around it there you go and now what we have here if you look is we have our list our main master list and inside of those lists are mini lists and we can carry on doing that let's have a look let's just move this across a bit further oh, it won't go any further never mind there we go. So let's put that inside of there. Let's do Marge, Bart, comma. Now, what you probably find with your Python programs, and this is quite useful generally, is that eventually you find that you that you run out of space on one line. What you can do instead is let's use the backslash technique. And this will make our lists a lot, but I don't think you actually even need that one there, a lot neater and a lot easier to read. Uh, there we go. And it'll still keep it in one list. There we go. Lisa, seven. Maggie one there we go there we go Oops. and there we go and you can see here what it's done is it's created a list one two three four five five items in the main list and then each of those items is a list in itself so there you go main list the outer list and then all the mini lists inside it and it's quite quite neat and tidy it looks just like this this data up here so we can actually get rid of that data now so that's that's perfect that is how you create a list uh, a two-dimensional list